Rob, how did you raise the money for Evil Dead? Uh, Sam Ramey, the director, and myself and Bruce Campbell have a company, uh, Renaissance Pictures, out of Detroit. And we had a short film that we had made, a condensed version of Evil Dead that had some of the scares in it. We went to different doctors and dentists and lawyers and uh, to their homes and we'd set up our little Super 8 projector and uh, screen and get their whole family and friends to come and see this little horror film we made. And in the process, we'd terrify their family, make their kids unable to sleep all night. And uh, enough people, after enough banging on enough doors finally said uh, yeah you seem to be at least honest and you know your, your horror film worked I can't imagine why people would pay to go see it uh, these are people who aren't in the film business have nothing really know nothing about it except what they see on TV so from that uh, we were able to, to raise money it took a long time it was a never-ending process because uh, we quickly ran out of people who saw the novelty of putting money in, a, in the movie business, especially in Detroit where the car business has fallen apart. No one's working. So, Taking the, taking the film on the horror circuit in the, to the festivals, um, maybe <coughs> talk a little bit about that, about that process. Well, we've been very, very fortunate on the, with, with Evil Dead so far because there's so many pitfalls in filmmaking that you can come across and, and fall into uh, at every turn and we've been very fortunate that we've made the right decisions a lot of times. And one of them was to go with a, an agent to handle our overseas and our domestic sales who we've been very happy with and he's kind of put us in touch. One, he's a very, very good, very well-known agent, Irving Shapiro, and he's put us in touch with different festivals that would be interested with this picture and the festival people know of, know of Irving and what he handles, George Romero's pictures and uh, just a whole a great deal, great range of pictures. So they know of him, so they contact him to see what he has. And we've gone to numerous different festivals over in Europe and that. And those that have been horror competitions, we've been very fortunate. Uh, the people have liked it. The juries have either liked it or absolutely hated it. There seems to be, on the critical spectrum, a very wide split. Either they like it or they hate it. So. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to win some awards at the different festivals. Uh, we won in Sitchi's the Best Picture and Best Special Effects. and uh, It's kind of nice going to overseas countries where they treat you like royalty. Uh, as these great American filmmakers at the age of 23 and 25, uh, it's, it's kind of fun. Why did you choose to shoot the film in Tennessee? Um, we went down to Tennessee to shoot the film because down there we could feed people grits the entire time and it was very very small food cost. <laughs> no, actually we went down to Tennessee because we thought it would snow in Michigan and uh, so as our shooting schedule got pushed back farther and farther we kept going farther and farther south and finally uh, we went down to Tennessee because they had a good film commission that gave us a bridge to destroy and uh, found us a cabin which eventually fell through and stuck us in a reconverted barn. Uh, but everything worked out very well. We were glad we went down to Tennessee. Plus labor co costs are very cheap. Uh, electricians are three dollars an hour. Uh, it was a nice place to go and shoot for that reason. It was very inexpensive as far as uh, not technical people but electricians and helpers and those kind of things. Even equipment, uh, construction equipment which you need for different things was relatively inexpensive. Any union hassles at all? No. They don't lock any unions down here. Hell, we drive them out of here. This is a right to work state. So, yeah, that's very nice. There's a very independent attitude. Uh, there's a big filmmaker in North Carolina, Earl Owensby, who's always making uh, films, and he likes it down there because of the same reasons. It's an inexpensive place to make movies. Now, the picture is playing in England, Europe? Could you maybe just detail where it's playing right? overseas? Well, it depends on when this is aired, but uh, yes, the, the picture is playing in London and in Paris, and it, New Line Cinema is going to be opening it here in the States, in Canada. We're looking forward to this, uh, to our big opening in the States. It's a little odd that the picture was much, was received uh, 
much better overseas initially. There was great great deal of, of excitement uh, in France and in, in London over the, over the movie. Um, and here it was just another run of the mill horror films. It seems like the Europeans caught on faster that it's not another at least slasher, slash em and stalk em picture, so. Mm. Anything else you wanna? You, maybe we say, uh, if you say New Line Cinema is releasing, is releasing the film. <coughs> just a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, New Line Cinema is releasing the picture here in the States. Uh, It'll be in a theater near you very, very soon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which, Ira? Yeah. Which we can use that if... if